Hey guys, what it is? It is your girl Cadillac. Yes, I'm Cadillac Dixon. I'm the Draw My Life Prison Wife. I'm the legally blind artist that is rapping and unfortunately still painting 21 plus years later for justice. Hoping to see justice before it all fades to black. Yes, it's your girl Cadillac. <clears throat> Anyways, I got a few minutes to chop it up with you um, before I go to work. Um, yesterday, I got off of work and I was just like, Ugh. I go through, I think April, um, going into May always feels like this. It's always like one of the most depressing times in my life. Um, I'll say because... <clears throat> You're off the cusp of a new year where you get all that hope that things would change and you're far enough into the year to see that no baby change is not coming this year for you. Um and then also it'd be count down to um my birthday and my birthday just reminds me of girl, look how old he is and you ain't got nothing to show for your age. Um and I know a lot of people are going to say off rip, this is just because you're just negative. You're just being so negative. Um, I'm tired of hearing that. But OK, I accept it. I'm negative then. Um, I know I really believe I'm positive. Nobody negative goes out on the limb as much as I do. Nobody. I liken myself to climb into the top of a, a house. Like, say, Marcello always tells me this story about how when he was in South Carolina, he used to get up on the roof, and they would jump from house to house. And basically, um, he was about to jump, but he stalled and kind of got scared, looked at the ground, and then he fell um, while jumping. And he was saying, when you you stop and you start looking around, that's when you fall. Baby, I have climbed to the top of that roof and jumped so many times, jumped out on faith, jumped out on this, jumped out on that. Um, it's, I'm not the average person that you tell these speeches to, that if you just try, then this. No, baby, I've tried. I tried that. Matter of fact, I tried that, and I tried that. It just ain't work. Nobody gives you the answer for when it just doesn't work. And the answer always comes back when it doesn't work. It's your fault. It's my fault. It's my fault. My life didn't work out. So because it's my fault, I don't know how to change it. I don't know how to eventually make it work out. And it ain't being more positive because, like I said, I, co I go out into every venture being positive, just knowing it's a matter of time before it works. And then... It just never works. It never happens. Um, just like my YouTube channel. Look at my my YouTube channel is embarrassing sometimes to me um, because nobody tries this hard to be a YouTuber. I have over 4,000 uploads. Even your successful, number one, your successful YouTubers, they ain't got 4,000 uploads because they don't have to upload that often. <laughs> they can upload once or twice a week. <clears throat> your unsuccessful YouTubers don't have 4,000 videos because they have given up because it's just not working. <laughs> so me, I don't know. I'm always on this middle ground where I just keep trying, keep trying, keep trying. The, you can say the same in um, Marcello's case. Nobody tries to fight a freaking 40-year sentence. Who does that? Like, you might try to fight. Nobody tries to wait out a 40-year sentence. You would fight maybe in a five to 10 year sentence, but 40 is kind of impossible. That's an impossible number. You can't wait 40 years on nobody. You can't, you can't even get 40 years reduced. Like we've tried everything, but who seeing how impossible this situation is still comes forward and still fights. It's still actually down in their heart believes that it could change if I could just get support. Um, I don't know. Nobody but me. 
And I don't know how I don't. It's like I'm kind of torn. My head knows it's a wrap. Baby, you try. You gave it your best shot. And just be proud of what you you tried. Unfortunately, you you tried a little too long and you wasted a great amount of your life. But, you know, you just, things just don't work out sometimes. And just go on. But the other side says, you cannot give up until you receive what you've been fighting and waiting for so long in your true soulmate, who you love and who you desire. I almost feel like I was given the best man in the world and then he was a, he was snatched from me. Had I never met Marcello, I, I wouldn't have knew what love was. And I think it's better to not know what love is, honestly. We think it's the opposite. I think it's better to never know true love than to know true love and then take have it taken from you. Like, not even slowly taken. It's just, frill, it's gone. Just snatched out of your life. And then you long for that. You long for that for the rest of your life. That's a cruel joke. So yesterday, I mean, most times I could paste a fake smile on. It's easy. This is how I feel. How you doing today, Kita? I'm all right. It's easy to do that, you know, and just go through the motions. Um, I kind of sometimes put myself on autopilot. Um, I know the world doesn't want to hear anything that could be perceived negative. You have to come with all these unicorns and butterflies and sunny skies and everything's going to work out and really soon. And blah, blah, blah. It's always really soon. You're on the verge. You're on, I've been on the verge for decades and it's never happened. <laughs> like how long do I stay on the verge? But um, anyways, um, yeah, so... I'm just tired and I'm very unmotivated. I don't understand. You know, people say that, um, like, I was watching this guy, Tron, and he was saying chosen ones cannot work for nobody. They have to basically um, be entrepreneurs. So you should quit your job today. And honestly, I don't, I don't, I don't even know if I would be a chosen one or none of, none of that. I don't even look into that stuff there. But I like a lot of the words that they say because I am peculiar. I am different. I feel like I'm backwards. I do not fit in. Um, I'm, I sometimes feel like I'm from some other universe. Definitely not from this family. Um, and couldn't fit in if I wanted to. If I wanted to blend in, girl, I couldn't blend in. But I know I'm different. And I really don't think I was created to be, by me being so different, created to be an employee. This is why I'm so miserable. Because I am living my life as something that I am not. I am created to be an entrepreneur. But unfortunately, I just suck at making the entrepreneurship work. And whenever you, I think you get reinforcement in life through positive and negative, right? So when you do things and positive happens, you get reinforced positively. You start believing, oh, wow, I did that. So I can do this. And then I did that. And now I can do this. You get reinsured. But when you do this and it kind of fails, you can get up again. It's it's easier the second time to get up. You do this and it fails. Okay, the third time is not that easy to keep believing. And then you do something else and it fails. The more you fail, the more you can see nothing but failure. And people want to play me like I'm just crazy, negative person. You haven't jumped out and jumped off the roof as many times as I have. Many people don't even go up to the roof to jump because they do not 
they know they they already foresee that they won't make it so they don't even go up there to jump but baby i've been up on that roof so many times to jump cross to that other roof and i have fell flat on my face so when you felt that many times and i know how hard that ground is <laughs> you call me negative because i don't want to jump no more like, girl, I don't know. Just make it make sense to me. But maybe it's because my mind is all backwards anyway. Anyways, let's go and get to my workshop. But I didn't even work on Princess's um, birthday decorations because I was so depressed. And now I only have today and tomorrow to work on them. So I got to finish it no matter how I feel. Um, all right, guys. Hope everything is working out for you and your life and your dreams. Um, if you do have dreams, start today because they might come true overnight like everyone around me, I see. <laughs> or they may never come true and take decades like me. All right, guys. Here's your girl, Cadillac.